Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, guys. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Sure. Hello. Good evening. Yes. Okay. So I was having some connection problems, but I think I I already fixed it. Uh, I think Blank is having the same problem right now. So we're going to. Wait, maybe she can fix it. Okay. Uh, good evening. Good evening, Jackie. Okay, let me check if my camera works today. I don't want to have the same problem as yesterday. Um, okay, let me see. Uh, can you see me well right now? Yes, we uh, I can. <laughs> okay, okay, perfect. So, um, so how are you feeling? It's Friday, and a lot of people like Friday. I don't know why. I have no idea. <laughs> I like to see your reaction. Like, um, well, is almost the last day of work or the last day of, of the work right and uh of course of course you we know that the vacation is just around the corner we're about to finish and right now what we're going to do is to um start with the session number two for the module two right lesson two module two and as i told you yesterday today we are going to have the session then we're going on vacations and we're coming back on monday 9th so that's great right because you have time to relax what well, we have time to relax to rest to do many things right at home with the family with uh, relatives right friends and um let me check and to recover right to get some energies back so that we can go on with our responsibilities and well that's all so welcome we're going to get started as you could see in the whatsapp group right uh, i sent you um a document that has different questions related to vacations and travel okay it's not a common vacation, I know, because we're still in this pandemic, right? But it's just a matter of discussing the ideas, the experiences, right? Different opinions related to the topic. So we're going to start with that after um, we review or try to remember what we were doing yesterday. So first of all, what do you remember from yesterday's class? What's the first one, right? The, the lesson one. Juan Jose? Hi. Remember about the class uh, yesterday? From yesterday, that's right. Um, I will try. Um, um, I don't remember <laughs> specific. Um, I don't remember specifically in this moment. OK, well, just to give you an, a, a clue, right? we had the general information yes and uh di dialogue um uh, two dialogue uh, two, no, uh -huh. one dialogue and um, uh about uh, three um questions uh -huh. two questions about uh, that we we um uh, buy in a um, uh, super for example uh, what is the main for the for buy some products for example this is what uh, other uh, questions 
uh, if in, when bought some product, um, we uh, specific if for the necessity or if for the quality. Uh, I don't hmm. remember uh, we are going to, to talking about. Yeah, perfect. So yeah, we have the discussion about three questions, right? We were, uh, well, I was introducing the information for about the curse. So the general information about the assignments, about the evaluations, about the attendance, uh, about the one-on-one -on -one sessions. We got to know each other uh, a little bit, just a little bit, right? Uh, because as we come from the previous module, we see that now we have some some new members, some new participants, and uh, we already have a little information about them, right? So uh, I'm going to create the spaces, right? The opportunities for you to get to know a little bit more because part of being a student, right? is also meeting new people and making new friends. That's part of the process. Even if it is online, it's always possible. Uh, so the requirements about having your camera on, about being careful with your microphone, right? And um, how can I tell you the the noise around you? So you have to keep your microphone off when you are not speaking, and when you are speaking, you have to make sure that your microphone is is on, right? Because sometimes we're speaking, 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 uh, and really, uh, let's say, inspired but we don't pay attention that the microphone is off and nobody's listening right so that's that's an issue and um let me check what else uh, the different tools that we have in in in, in zoom um we had the conversation and we had some questions about the conversation okay about the different steps that somebody should consider in order to um identify the target market okay and what is next after that you had some links to read right about that and um let me check i'm going to share with you the next one right here so we're going to get started i'm going to uh send you a little link that is going to be in a moment. So we're going to do this exercise. Don't open the link yet. Okay, I'm going to explain you what you're going to do. But we are going to share some ideas, okay? This is information that I would like to know, okay? In order to prepare the activities that can help you with, uh, with your improvement, right? With your improvement. So, um, I sent you the link, open it in a moment. We'll just wait a second. We're going to take the attendance for today. So Beatriz, are you there? Nope. So we continue with the next one. That is uh, Mariela. I'm here. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Blanca. She was having some connections, right? The uh, internet connection problems. So hopefully she will join us later. Mariela is here. Uh, Blanca, not here yet. Brenda. Brenda Science. I think I saw her connected, but. Maybe she lost connection or she cannot use a microphone. Okay, so let's go on. Diana? I'm here. Okay, there you go. Um, do we have Diego here? No. Uh, Floor? not here yet wait a second wait a second uh don't use the link yet okay i will give you the indications in a moment okay francisco 
present. Freddy's? I hear you, teacher. Okay, welcome back. Laura. We don't have Laura connected yet. There were some confusions yesterday, right, about the schedule. So now we're going back to normal. Uh, Jackie? I'm here, teacher. Okay, Harbin? Harbin told me he was not feeling, feeling well because he got the second dose of the COVID vaccination so maybe that's me too yeah maybe that's the, the reason why um uh, but you're feeling better today freddy actually no i have a headache i, I got it like a cold oh okay I got uh-huh uh well i don't know maybe it's because of the well, they say that it depends. There are different factors, right? One is the vaccine that you get, and the other one it's also some well, the the way that your body reacts, right, to that to that vaccine. Uh, because in my case, I got the the Chinese one, and the only thing that I got in the first one was a little bit of sleepiness, I think, and um, and the pain, right, in my arm. But that was it. I got the, the Sinovac. You got the same one? Okay. Yeah. But uh, the first one didn't feel anything. And this one, yeah, I got sick. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's random, right? The reactions yeah. are random. Okay. So, um, but hopefully you're going to be much better tomorrow, Freddy's. Uh, some people recommend taking, a, like, a, what do they call it? uh one that is for al for a pill that is for allergies or for reactions i think it's loratadina, loratadina. Uh -huh. yeah loratadina they doesn't make you sleepy chlorpheniramina they say that actually could. actually i'm an allergic person so i always take them oh okay I, okay I need, uh, what's it called um uh, it's a strong one it's a 50 milligrams it's uh i forgot the name because the okay. loratadina doesn't do, does anything to me okay okay so you need a stronger one yeah uh, okay so just try to uh rest a little bit right if it's possible um jennifer are you there Juan Jose. I'm here. Okay. Uh, Gustavo. I'm here. Okay. Excellent. Uh, we continue with Miguel Angel. Not here. Uh, Fabio. I'm here. Rolando. Not here yet. I hope he's not um, confused about the dates either. Then we have uh, Janari. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Uh, Elizabeth. Suleyma. And I'm here, teacher. Roxana. Present. There you go. So thank you so much and um, let's go on. Now I'm going to explain you about the link, okay? I sent you the link and um, it is a, it's a, it's a site that helps to share opinions, okay? To, in, 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 as a group, right? So I am going to show you, right? How it looks from my side and then you're going to write down your opinion, okay? That's what I want to read. So, um, the, the topic is something I would like to improve about my English is, da, 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 right? Um, 
express the aspects in which you would like to get better, right? So for example, we have an anonymous here, somebody who accessed the link and said, I would like to improve my pronunciation and know more words to connect my ideas. Very good. So you select the, you click on the, on this symbol right here on the plus or the uh, addition, right? Symbol. And you um, can click anywhere. For example, the title, uh, you can use your name if you want. For example, I'm going to say Freddie, right? And I write my, my, my opinion, right? Uh, something I would like to improve about my English is, Mm. My listening comprehension when I am talking to native speakers. Okay, so just to give an example, right? Then you click enter and automatically, I mean, you click outside, anywhere outside the box and automatically you, you have your, your opinion posted. If you want to edit the, the, your, your answer, it's possible. You just click on the little pencil right here and then you continue, right? Writing a little bit more. Okay, so excellent. Go ahead, please. Right now I'm going to give you four minutes for you to uh, express at least in one post, one little uh, answer, one little post-it, something that you would like to improve about your English, okay? This is just as a reference for me to consider, right? Uh, what, I, what I can help you with in the class. Okay, so access the link that I shared in the chat and then start writing down your answer to the topic or to the question. So we have listening and confidence, uh, vocabulary. Okay, nice. We're getting more answers. You can change even the color of your post, for example, your, your little box. Uh, how I can change the name? I don't see the the option. Uh, how you can change your name? Okay, yes. give me. All the people appear uh, like anonymous. Yeah, when you see the uh, well, it's a, the setting. Okay, I try to do it. I, I did it in an anonymous way so that you don't feel like. Uh, okay, they are going to see my name, right? As an option, right? But in the title of your post, you can write down your name. Okay, okay. okay. I did it anonymously so that uh, it's optional for you to mention your name. Teacher. Hello. Could you mind sending a link again, please? Sure, excellent. Um, no problem. And welcome, Beatriz. I didn't see that you were already connected. Thank you. Okay, there you go. Okay, let's see how many people already answered the question. 
We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We got eleven answers. Now we got twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay, perfect. Improve my pronunciation to know more verbs or adjectives and other things. Uh, I would like to learn different languages to know and understand the different cultures. Okay, improve listening and the confidence when I am talking to another person. Uh, talking and listening and to be able to do a conversation fluently. Okay, that's nice. Uh, something I'd like to improve is how to get more confidence in my pronunciation. So a lot of people say pronunciation, improve my fluency, comprehension, and organize my ideas when I'm talking. Okay. Um, I would like to improve my pronunciation, grammar, and be more confident when talking to someone. I would like to improve my conversation way. I would like to improve my speaking and listening, learn new words pronunciation and learn no more words to connect my ideas. Okay. Uh, let's see, I would like to learn more vocabulary and okay. So just one more minute to finish with everybody's participation. I'm going to share the dashboard one more time so you can see how it looks now with all your opinions. Okay, um, so I see a lot of confidence, a lot of pronunciation, and um, probably as a third option, it's about listening or comprehension when talking to someone. As number four, maybe we're going to mention vocabulary. Yeah, vocabulary is, is at the top. Okay, perfect. So we're going to uh, stop here. Uh, yeah, vocabulary is probably the number three, right? And then we go with the, with the other ones. So um, I'm going to stop sharing. And now, okay, thank you so much for sharing your ideas about what you would like to improve. That is really important input for me, okay? Because based on that, I know exactly what uh, activities or what specific goals you have. Okay, uh, getting confidence is something that comes, just to give you an idea, a, a, a heads up, right? Getting confidence is not something that happens overnight. Okay, no pasa la noche a la mañana. It's something that happens with a constant or frequent exposure to the language. So confidence, for example, when you had a presentation at school, remember when you, when you were presenting, uh, you had this, uh, exposiciones, right, at school, when you were in high school. So you had to practice and memorize everything and do it over and over and over again. So in the end, when do you do a better job? When you prepared with anticipation or when you didn't prepare and you just tried to improvise your presentation? I suppose that the majority of you will say that, well, I did a better job when I was preparing and practicing with anticipation for the presentation. So uh, the same thing happens with confidence in the, when you're using the language, right? If you are accustomed to speaking English every day or to listening to English or trying to use the English, uh, your English every day, there will be a moment when you're, first of all, you are going to do it in a very natural way. And, um, this is connected with the pronunciation and the fluency because uh, for people who never practice speaking, it's more difficult to improve their pronunciation, right? For people who hardly ever speak, it's really hard to speak fluently. So they are translating everything in their mind. Like, so I want to mejorar, mejorar, improve 
my habilidades, habilidades, uh, skills. And then you go like that, right? You go word by word. So it is a normal uh, stage that, that we go through, but obviously it's not the ideal one. So the ideal one is spontaneous, but this again comes from practice. Now, I am going to create a breakout room so that you can discuss the questions in the document that I sent to the WhatsApp group. Is everybody in the WhatsApp group? Yes I'm or no? I'm okay. not in the WhatsApp group. So they, they sent you, this is included in the information that you received, okay, with the, with the, um, with the probably the the code to access the Zoom meeting and but that's okay okay if you don't have it I will share with you through the chat so you can join the the group automatically okay you can click on the link and you will be joined to the WhatsApp group okay so all your classmates and the teacher and some people from Inglés Cooperativo will be there to help you out, right? Or to give information throughout the group. So, uh, well, through the group. Um, let me know if you already received the message or if you could access the group. I'm going to check in my phone. I already received it, but um, it say I have to download WhatsApp in my computer. Ah, so you need to copy the link probably and open it in your in your What's cell phone. Web? Uh huh. Ah, Send it okay. to yourself or 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 copy the link and in your in a message right or something and then you can open it. Um, the thing is that I I have the document but I I don't have the option. Let me check. I think I already downloaded it to the computer. Let me look for intermediate. Travel and vacation questions. Okay, I'm going to share the link. Well, the document, sorry. It says that it's been sent successfully. Check the chat, please, and um, try to download the document. And that's what you're going to do, okay? So you're going to discuss for five minutes, okay, in the breakout rooms, maximum six minutes, about vacation and traveling. So that is what's coming, right, uh, this, this week. So it's an appropriate, it's a perfect topic for you to discuss. Um, so in the breakout rooms, you are uh, we have 17 participants right now. So I'm going to create just six. Check, just in case we have problems, I'm going to create five. Okay, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, perfect. Uh, one, two, and three. Yes, okay, so I'm going to move just one person to another group. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it, don't worry. And, uh, We're ready. So here we go. Five to six minutes. Ask as many questions as you can related to that. And then you're going to come back and one person is going to share with, with us. Okay, I the invitation to join the breakout room. Okay. Um, two and three.
is what's the worst thing about the traveling? Uh, probably uh, when you don't speak the same language that the country that you visit. Uh -huh. For example, once I traveled to the United States, in those days, I I couldn't speak English very well. I tried uh -huh. to speak and I spoke. Uh -huh. But the problem is when the people gave me the answer because I didn't understand anything. They speak a lot of quickly and sometimes they use or connect some words. And in those cases, I, I didn't understand anything. I remember I went to a shopping center in a food court and I asked for food. But when the waiter asked me a question, I couldn't answer. Oh, wow. I can, really, really bad. Yeah, I can I can ask the questions. And I and I and I time for this question we have. I, I don't uh, know. Uh, I no, didn't I didn't anything? listen. So maybe we we can no. we have, and see. We have five minutes. Five minutes. Five. Oh, oh, okay, thanks. thank you. Thank you, Redis. You're okay. welcome. We have to ask all this question? No, the you ones that you, that you that you choose, the ones that you like. Um, so I prefer staying I, at home and go out with my daughter to maybe uh, a downtown like the, a taco or or maybe the a new restaurant. <laughs> yeah, or I don't know, it's just if you know about a new restaurant that is in Chalatla, Aguachapan, <laughs> that the, its name is El Bosque, and looks really good, really relaxed, and because um, the food is like a meat, and I said that it's really delicious, so I would like to try to travel over there and enjoy a little bit of the vacations because I'm not going to have it. <laughs> and um, how many days will you have off? Two days at the week. For example, um, in this week I'm going to take, uh, I have one, I'm going to have my day off on Sunday and Monday. Mm. Uh, mm. Then okay. on Saturday. Okay. Yes. All the people who live uh -huh. in in the towns, on towns. Sorry. Mm, yeah. Yeah. They can grow up uh, their, uh, for, their food and uh -huh. plants. Oh, uh -huh. and another important thing that they had uh, the the four seasons, and I would like to know mm -hmm. the, um, um, let me see, um, hi, how do you say? How do you say uh, what? Autumn, 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 <laughs> Otoño. Uh -huh. you, autumn, you autumn, autumn, or you can say fall, uh -huh. fall, exactly, fall, thank yeah. you, oh, okay. fall, also uh -huh. the snow, for that mm -hmm. reason, I would like to live in, in Canada. Ah, okay. No, yeah. um, in my case, uh, I think is Holland. Holland. I think so. It's Holland. Yeah, Holland, Holland or uh, Netherlands. Yeah. Netherlands. Okay, Holland. Holland. Thank you. What? In Holland, right. uh, I I travel there, but it's not in there. In their side, in this, in their, in their country, I travel to um, Indonesia. Indonesia. But I, yeah, Indonesia. In Indonesia, I traveled. I traveled, um, but uh, I may. In my favorite uh, country uh, was uh, France. I was there in, 
Yes, yes, I was there in 2015. Uh, and, and, and what I did like, you do there? Uh, uh, I was working in Central Africa, so uh, many times in, in the holidays, I was in, in, in Paris. Okay, did you travel for work or yes, for yes, vacations? No, no, I was working in Central Africa. So you had you always had the opportunity to know new new yes, places over exactly, there. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, for that I like uh, know different language because it's, it's very. Uh, I like know the culture in every in every country, and if you know the language, you you can uh, understand more the people. Yeah, and how about the food? It's yeah, so difficult exactly. like, 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 like here. I like, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's really nice. Then you, Irma, are you, are you going to tell us it is good or not to visit Pures, okay? okay. <laughs> because I have, ah, yeah. <laughs> well. I have never visited uh, that place. It's beautiful. Yes, but I think there is a. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> I have never, I have never gone visited there neither. Okay. Yes, I'm going to say you how the travel trip, the viaje. The trip. Yes. Okay. Um, Will you have the all the weekend all the week off? Yes, in my case, in my case, yes. I am going to work all the week. You said that you are going to spend the time in your house. Yes, I'm going to spend the time here with my family. And I don't know what more. And only that, I'll go to the cinema, to Fresa, and I don't know what other play the place that I'm going to go. Mm, I don't have any plans. Where do you live, Irma? I live in Nehapa. Nehapa. Yes. Um, where is Nehapa? Uh, it's near to... It's yes, it's near. Close to Casaltepeque, right? Yes, close to Casaltepeque and Apopa. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it is hot there? No, it's normal. I don't feel a lot of uh, calor. Heat. I don't know how. Heat. Heat. Okay, heat. You said heat? H-I-T? H-E-A-T. H E A T. Heat. H E A T. Heat. 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 Yeah. Heat. Um, oh, I didn't know that word. <laughs> yeah, the heat is, in yeah. San Miguel is okay. terrible. <laughs> uh, <laughs> San Miguel. <laughs> right I now just, it's like uh, 30. Right now it's like 30 degrees here. Oh, wow. But it's not it's not that hot. Sometimes it's read 40, 40 degrees. 40 degrees? Yeah, 40 degrees. Mm. Here, I here. went to Brazil one time and I passed to um, in San Miguel uh -huh. around 7 p.m. and I was thinking that maybe the weather is going to be not too hot, uh, but I was thinking that, but I feel a lot of heat there <laughs> at that hour. Yeah. Because you uh, you feel the difference because you are traveling in different departments. Mm -hmm. And I visited the Metro Centro over there. And then we went to eat pupusas, and I saw people eating pupusas with the salsa negra, <laughs> uh -huh. with the dark salt. Yeah. Uh, and it was like, oh. I didn't try. I didn't try because uh. 
<laughs> you were afraid. I, I don't know. <laughs> yes, I was afraid. But you, teacher, do you eat the pupusa with, with mm, the not, not, not commonly, but I have tried it. It's, it, it tasted good. A it's little, good. yeah, it tasted good, but, but it's not my favorite thing. Yeah. Uh, I really love pupusas. <laughs> Yeah, me Teacher, too. Do you do you say that you grow up in San Miguel, right? Yeah. But you were okay. Sorry, uh Jennifer. I, I was asking the best the best question. Oh, what was the best, what was the question? Sorry. For me, it was would you like rather spend a week exploring Tokyo or Iceland? Ah oh, my, yes. Obviously. <laughs> okay, okay. Talk your Iceland. Got it. Uh, well, Jennifer, you were asking me a question, but I didn't hear the compliment. No worry, teacher. Uh, it was about you told us yesterday. Uh huh. About me growing up. Uh, uh, no, because I was surprised because I thought that you were Salvadorian. I am Salvadorian, but I was born in Honduras. But you have two nationalities. Nationality. Yeah. Nationality? yeah, I have I have both. Uh, however, I didn't have the ID from Honduras because I never um, went back to to do the, the process. But I could get it. I could get it because I got my, my birth How certificate. How many years do you live in Honduras? Uh, until I was five, until I was five. <laughs> so I, I barely remember uh, Honduras. Do you live five years in Honduras? Yeah, only five years. Do you know, do you know to, do you know to Anthony Lane? Where? Who? From Honduras. Anthony Lane. Anthony Lane, no. Is <laughs> is what from the selection from the Honduras in ah. 19, 1985 uh, the the team from Honduras uh, plays with El Salvador uh, Anthony Lay Drummond ah. Maradiaga okay. uh, many players excellent player and play with El Salvador here in Cuscatlan and Anthony Lay uh, uh, did <laughs> the um, gold, the score the goal. Um, uh -huh. goal. <laughs> he scored the goal. Uh -huh. We 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 lost the the team. Uh, okay. Goal from Anthony Lane. Got it. It's very sad for El Salvador. Really? <laughs> wow! I didn't know that. Yeah, uh, the 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 son the son from Anthony Lane plays uh -huh. in this moment in Honduras. Okay. Okay. And his name is. And his name is Anthony Lane too. <laughs> okay, got it. So no, I don't know too much about 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 that. But yes, uh, my family from my father's side is over there. So I try. I visit them. I used to visit them at, at least once a year. But since the <laughs> pandemic, no, <laughs> it's been, in... no, it's in Comayagua and Siwatepeque. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So guys, it was a not, uh huh. Sorry. I, I would know that you born, but born in Honduras. Yes, yes. Uh, I, people usually get surprised about that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. But of course, I my my number one and my preference is El Salvador. So I don't have uh, any problem to say it. <laughs> So, um, guys, you had a lot of time to share about traveling, right? And um, I don't know if you have a, anything to share, any comment, any information that was surprising that you didn't expect to get from the conversation from your classmates. Was it interesting? Was it funny? Was it interesting? Uh, 
Uh, uh, in my group, Anna told us that she took a lot of, she takes a lot of photos, but she did, she doesn't share. Okay, she doesn't share them uh, on social networks. Got it. Okay, I feel that my connection, it's bad again. Hello? Hi. Hello? He can hear yeah. you, teacher. I think that the connection is bad again, so I'm going to keep my camera off in while I get, until I get a better connection. So just let me know if you can hear me, okay? Okay. Okay, so uh, so um, not everybody is going to have the same days off. Some people were commenting, right, that they have just one or two days off, or somebody said, I don't have vacations. So um, whatever you're planning to do or whatever you have to do, um, of course, the most important is that you enjoy, right, that you take a time off, that you disconnect from work or from responsibilities or from stress um that's the most important no matter if you stay home watching movies or series or if you go out to another city or to another country or if you just go for to the park and go for a walk it doesn't matter okay the most important is that you uh rest that you enjoy right and that you um reconnect with yourself and the people that you don't usually talk to right like your family your friends that's something that you you should definitely consider doing okay guys so yesterday we had the conversation as you remember uh between rodrigo and edgar and they were talking about the difficulties right to um let's say to determine or to identify the target um, audience, right? Or the, how can I tell you? Something that uh, the target market, that would be the, the other word. So for example, if I create, if I create a product and my product is, um, a new video game. I know that my biggest in the video game is about a uh, Peppa Pig and uh, versus Paw Patrol. I know that my target market is going to be children. So everything that I do, right, is going to be focused on children. What can be attractive for children? How can I get their attention? How can I sell more video games? Okay, so there are many, many, many uh, things to consider depending on the target market that you have. So um, in this case, uh, Edgar gives Rodrigo some ideas, right? Okay, so you got the uh, target market, then you get the idea, right? Um, you, sh you should go for the screening, the concept development and testing the business analysis. Okay. I have an idea, but explain me more. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to try to match, okay? Try to match um, the steps from one to eight. Which one do you think it's the correct order, right? The correct order for the steps. Um, we have eight. How does a new product develop? You are going to uh, try to organize them individually. Okay, right now you can do it individually. I'm going to give you just two minutes for you to think, read the different words. We're going to practice pronunciation and then you do the, the, the ordering, right? So the first word that we see on this on the chart is product development. Product development. Okay, just pronunciation, right? Product development. Next, 
Idea screening. Idea screening. Next, concept development and testing. Concept development and testing. Concept development and testing. The next one is launch, right? Launch. Um, business analysis. Business analysis. Commercialization. That's very similar to Spanish, right? Commercialization. Test marketing test marketing and idea generation idea generation so in this moment you have two minutes to try to write down the words in the or the steps in the order that you think it's the correct one okay so um just to um give you a little help right the idea generation will be the first one, right? Idea generation. And then you go with the next ones. Okay. Um, ready, set, go. Okay, so time is up. Let's check in the chat. Okay, some people already started giving some ideas. So right now I am going to send you back to the breakout rooms with the uh, with more people. Now you're going to be in, in groups of three, everybody, so that you have more ideas and it's easier for you to get to an agreement, right? So you are going to make a decision about what is the correct order from one to eight about the steps for a new product development, okay? So ready, set, and go. Accept the invitation now. Please, everything in English, express the reasons why you think that is number one, that is number two, three, four, five, and so on. Okay. 
Jennifer, Juan Jose, Suleiman, Jackie, as a dietitian. Is the number two. Uh, number three, product development. Number four, concept development and testing. Number five, commercial, commercialization. Number six, six business analyst. Uh, number seven, testing marketing. Yes, um, the last, uh, number eight, launch. Um, okay, I, order? as I told you in the, I don't know if you got the message. Okay, the number one, yes. I I was, uh, I, I gave you the, the answer is business analysis, number one. Business analysis. Yeah, business number one. Analysis. Yeah, that would be number one. Why? Because uh, first of all, you need to check, right? You need to check um, if it is a good idea, right? I think uh, that it, it would be but, something like that. Yes, but I'm I, just kidding. I, I I'm, think, I think, I think. I'm just, I'm just playing the devil's advocate. Okay. I'm just making you yeah. doubt. Okay, so I send the. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I say send the que discutan, pero no le voy a la respuesta hasta el final. Okay. 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 Ah, uh, it's okay. Don't worry. Idea generation is the first one. Okay. First is the idea. <laughs> yes. No, I, 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 but I, but I need you to give reasons. I need you to give reasons why you think that the number two is I don't know business analysis or or why number two is test marketing. Okay. That's the point that you express more ideas. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Hello, did you finish? Mm, almost. Right. Almost. <laughs> almost. Right. So what is the number one? Yeah. Business analysis. Are you sure? You told us. <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe idea generation. Okay, so this is this is why I'm checking every breakout room. Okay, I want to hear your 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 perspective. 
Do you really think that the business analysis is before the idea generation? I think it's idea no. generations. Why? Have to, first, we have to have the idea to, to sell one product. We have to have many ideas how to sell it, what is going to be the product, uh -huh. uh, it is going to be a good note. Excellent. So yeah. that's what I want you to do right now. I want you to express, I want you to discuss, right? Uh, your points of view. Very good. So yes, idea generation is the first one. You got it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, I, go ahead. You still have, let me check, two more minutes. It's like putting in the market and commercialization is like... Commercialization uh, is the seven and launch is the last one. Launch yes, is the last I, one. Yes, I, I explain you very quickly because I was working in, in, in Urbanica, you know it, it. I don't know if you know it. Yeah, yeah and, uh, they was a start with the create the idea after mm -hmm. create the the building they create the business analysis uh, how much uh, we pay for the building after show to the to the clients okay we we got to make this building and maybe can buy in in this x amount of dollars right after that they make uh, the test marketing after uh, they start to commercialize, commercialization. If you buy the 51. No, I didn't, I didn't, and I lost the, the, my connection. But well, and the number three, I think, is test marketing. Because test you marketing. have to, you ask uh, to the future customer, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 that's my opinion, right? Yeah, yeah. Then. Okay. And then the number four, um, develop, I'm, I'm sorry, product development. Product development. Yes. I have number five in this concept. Uh -huh. And the number five, a concept development and testing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, number six, and business analysis. Oh. Number seven, launch, and number eight, commercialization. Only we're agree in the number one, two, and eight. <laughs> <laughs> the four and five we have well, well something <laughs> something is better than nothing something is better than nothing good yes. <laughs> okay so this discussion was really good okay uh did every did, did your group get to an agreement about the, the the correct order of the steps? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, uh, which one is first? For a group was the idea generation. Uh huh. Second was idea screening. The third one was concept development and testing. Uh -huh. The fourth was business analysis. The five was product development, six testing marketing, seven commercialization and eight launch. Okay, so this is the group number two, okay? We two. have Jackie, Gustavo, and Fabio. Now, what about group number one? Beatriz, Juan Jose, and Suleyma. What, are, what is your final uh, uh, result, let's say? Okay. Uh, in our group, we think that something like that. 
The first is idea generation. The second one, idea screening. And the third one, business analysis. The fourth one, concept development and testing. The number five, test marketing. Number six, launch. Uh, seven, product development and commercialization. Okay, so you have commercialization at the end, okay? Uh, and product development, it's almost at the end too. Mm -hmm. Let's go with number three. Freddy's, Jennifer, Laura, and Janati. What is the order according to your, to your opinions, to your group, to your discussion? Um, the first one, idea generation. Second, uh -huh. idea screening. Number three, test marketing. Number four, business analysis. Five, product development. Six, concept development and testing. Seven, launch. And eight, commercialization. Okay. So, uh... Something that I was looking for in order to give you more um, input, more information, because this is something technical, okay? We have to be clear about this. Uh, not, the majority of us are not involved in the, in the industry uh, of uh, products, right? Or creating products or factories or working with these steps, right? So uh, we're working in different areas. We probably know a little bit and somebody works or used to work in something related to this, but it's not, we're not experts, okay? Maybe somebody is, maybe somebody is in this group. So, um, but the point is that we are learning English, yes, through something that has to do with work with technical uh, scenarios, right? With business scenarios. And I am going to share a link that for me was very important when I was uh, preparing this, this uh, session because I, I had one doubt, okay? About the steps, I have one doubt about which one was first, the commercialization or the launching. Because in my mind, okay, launching the product was, okay, so I'm going to offer the product, like make it public, right? And then I start to sell it. For me, that was like, like the logical steps, right? The logical order. But then I investigated and I was like, okay, so I was wrong. It's not like that. First is commercialization. It's, it starts earlier than that. And launching is the last one. So that's something that I learned, okay? And I want, I want to share this with you for two reasons. One, because that is something that will help you to clarify the, the terms, the terminology. And two, because it's one, uh, this uh, website or this kind of materials that you find online will help you to practice English for listening and for reading, okay? So this is the link that I wanted to share with you. So you can take a look at that later. You can copy the link and put it in a, I don't know, a, something, a parenthesis here. A, you have a notebook, right? And you take notes about vocabulary and everything, but about websites or different, uh, for example, a, a YouTube channel or something like that, or something that you share in the WhatsApp group or in the chat here, that is a link. So it's difficult to be copying, right? In your notebook, the, the, the link. So probably what I would recommend you to do on your computer or your cell phone is to have one document with links, okay? With links or apps. So that, for example, module two, intermediate, intermediate module two um, curse, and you, you copy and paste all the links. So you start organizing them and you have them like a resource bank, como un banco de recursos, right? So you can access to them anytime, right? Uh, you want, or when you want, when you finish the class or another day on vacations, for example, on the weekend, you can check the links and start practicing, watching videos, reading, listening to something, okay? Um, so take a look at that. And uh, Gustavo, you want to say something? I'm going to take the attendance in the meantime. 
just make sure to have your camera on so I can see that you are there. And I, and I, and yes. I don't. And I don't interrupt you, okay? No, um, no, no oh, problem. Go ahead. Uh, no, uh, I just want to say um, the the things about the commercialization and launch is, is depends of the product because uh, I was working in one company. Mm -hmm. If you if you uh, we create apartment buildings, so if we commercialization. 51% of the building, we start to the construction. So for that reason, in this case specifically, uh, the first one uh, is commercialization, commercialization, and the last one is launch. I, I don't know if the all all the people understand this this point. Okay. Any questions about what? Gustavo just mentioned. Okay, so we no, have a, no a one. we have a surprise reaction there. So it's like, oh, I didn't know that. And yes, this time um, I am going to tell you that the group number two uh, was right about their order. Okay, so the let me check group number two, that was Jackie, yeah, Gustavo and Fabio, as I was telling you, right? Because we start with the idea generation, everything starts with an idea, right? Uh, after that, we go with the idea screening. Hey, Jennifer, good to see you. <laughs> so uh, new guys in town, that's Jennifer, okay? <laughs> and then uh, we move on. Some people were confused here with the concept development and with the product development, but uh, the first one that is the number four is, I mean, number three is the concept development and testing, okay? So before you, you go on with a product, you need to test it, right? So that will be the third step. Then you go with the business analysis, okay? So you get more technical here about all the things that you need to consider to go on with your product. And then a test, hold on, the group number, I don't remember which group mentioned this, but it was, it was correct. So after we do the business analysis, we continue with the product development, okay? So it's a logical order. And um, then the, the biggest confusion came at the end, right? So we have test marketing. That would be number six. And the last two that we were discussing right now, commercialization and launch. So um, commercialization starts before, okay? Even before we think about the launching. So you start, you already tested your product, you already developed, you analyzed it, you, Took, you took into consideration many aspects. So you move to the launching until the end. Okay, so, um, but as, as Gustavo was saying, right? It, it varies, it varies from the product. It varies from the product. There are some companies that they prefer to do the launching. And then when people already heard the news about the product, they start with the commercialization. Probably the same day or the next day, right? It's an option, it's an option, but usually commercialization comes first and then they do the launching as an official way of introducing the product. It's like music. You know that when they uh, have the, they, they launch the, well, they start selling the, the CD and everything, the new album, and then they do the launching of the hits, of the videos. Um, probably even a month after the, the, the album has been on the market. So it's, um, it's the way they organize it, okay? Depending on the business. And that's the first step, okay? We identify and we determine what is the correct order of the um, steps of a product development. So I repeat, idea generation, idea screening, concept development and testing, business analysis, product development, test marketing, commercialization, and 
lunch. Okay, so probably somebody from the group number two, as you have that order. Okay, so congratulations, right? You did a you did a good job. So in this case, you put together your experiences, right? Excellent. So I I was listening, right? That Gustavo was sharing his experience working in a company that had to work had to do with uh, products. So for that reason, he shared that experience with with everybody. So we learn together. And that is the good thing about having people from different areas, right? If you want to know about call centers, we have people here. If you want to know about accounting, we have people here. If you want to know about banking, we have people here. So that's the enriching part of this, of this course, right? It's English for work, but everybody works in something different, in different positions, in different companies. So we put together everything you know, and we learn more. So this is a mix, right? A mix of different things. So thank you so much. Maybe one member of the team number two can share the, the order in the chat so that people can copy that uh, in case you forget that what I mentioned, right? I'm going to start sharing the screen one more time. Oh, wait, they are sharing the screen right now. So you can take a screenshot right there. Okay, thank you so much. Screenshot, three, two, one, and time is up. Thank you. So what's next? Now you're going to use the internet. You can, you're going to use dictionaries. Why? Because you are going to investigate the or look for the definitions of the following terms. Number one, prototype. Number two, target audience. Number three, manufacturing. And number four, positioning. So what is the definition of, this, of these terms? Okay, so you can use the dictionary in your cell phone or your computer and write down the definition in your notebook or in your computer or cell phone, okay? So for this activity, I'm just going to give you four minutes so you can investigate a little bit in your in the breakout rooms, okay? So I'm going to send you back to the breakout room so you can share with your classmates. Maybe uh, one person can look for prototype, the other person can look for tar target audience, and you share after the three minutes. So I'm going to give you three minutes to investigate, and then two minutes for sharing and copying the definitions, right? So I'm going to open the breakout rooms, Go now. You have exactly five minutes, okay, to share, well, investigate and share the definitions of these words. Jessica, I'm going to send you to the group number. Three and four. Wait a second. Four is complete. Okay, Yanadi, did you receive the invitation? Yes, perfect. I entered to my computer dictionary about prototype. Prototype as a noun is a standard or typical sample as a verb to create a prototype of. Mm -hmm. So my, my answer, I answer it as, as a noun, as a standard or typical, or typical example. to think about a product in relation to similar products or a competitor's products. Like 
The second one is, is, is a little bit hard to, to find to find the definition, yeah. yes. Yeah. Just well, because it's not. Uh -huh. Just a little bit, yeah. But you can uh, also, you can come up with your own definition, okay? You don't have to. Look I for... have it in, in Spanish. I make the, the translations. <laughs> it's more uh -huh. easy. <laughs> Target audience. The, the, problem, the problem is uh, uh, Google uh, sent me always the, um, like the first option, uh, the answers in Spanish. So I need to make the, the um, translate. That's why. Yes, exactly. Uh, for that reason, I don't like Google. No, but maybe if you change the settings of the language, uh, it will give you the English uh, option. The first. problem is uh, Google recognizes the, 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 the language in the computer. No, mm -hmm. the language in the computer. Ah, and the but, language in the computer. Is in yes, okay. and right. And right now I in the in the work of the in the computer of the work. So for okay, that reason, got it. Send me the these options. Okay. Um, oh man. Oh. It sounds like Rambo versus Terminator there. <laughs> Teacher, um, are you done? Um, we get almost. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let me check the time. One more minute. No. <clears throat> First thing I do. I send in the definition for each one. Thank you. Okay. okay. Can you share the other ones? Yeah. Amen. Amen. I have your definition, Janari. Yeah. See you in a moment, ladies. Okay. Okay, and, teacher. And gentlemen. And gentlemen. Okay. So before I melt, I just want to check that you got them all. Yeah, believe it or not, it's getting warmer here. <laughs> now we're going to, uh, yeah, but I try to, I try to see the bright side on things, right? So if it is hot, I, I lose, uh, I burn some calories. Uh, I want to believe that. So uh, it's like being in a constant sauna, right? Um, for free. The first one that we had was prototype. So that's the word that, that we're going to define. It's one of the easiest ones. So what is a prototype? I'm going to ask the somebody who has the camera off. And that is, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Okay, Laura, what is the definition for prototype? Uh, <laughs> the, uh, Google, the uh -huh. meaning is a noun, a first typical or preliminary model of something, especially a machine from which other forms are developed or copied. Or copied. Okay, do you agree yeah. with that? With that definition from saying Google? Saying Google, <laughs> yes. Yes. Exactly the same we have. <laughs> we have exactly the same. <laughs> it's the first definition you get, right? From when you look for it. Yeah, so that's a prototype, right? So it's the first uh, model of the product that you develop. And it's like, let's say like a draft, right? Um, then we continue with the target audience. Yanari, uh, can you please select one volunteer for the, the next definition? Um, tell me one number. number. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I don't know. You can give me a number if you want. Yeah, if you don't have it, if you don't want to have any problems with your classmates. <laughs> Whatever number. Yeah, give me a number from one to 10. That's okay. Five. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Fabio, uh, target audience. Tar target audience, audience. We got a target audience is the intended audience of a post, advertisement, or other message, spe special, specific, Specifically, specifically direct directed at uh, that intended audience. Okay. Audience. Yes, audience. <laughs> that's correct. Yeah, target audience uh, or target market is what I was telling you, right? At the beginning of the example of the video game. So it's the people that you want your product to be focused on, the people that you want to see your product, right? To buy your product. So that is your target audience. Uh, it's like in Glass Corporativo, right? Their target audience is anyone over, I don't know, a certain age, or in this case, in English for Work program, is anybody who is working uh, and gets the benefit, right, of InstaForp so that they can be part of this of these English courses for free. So um, it's directed to adults, right? People who are over 18. And um, that's the target audience, okay? So if you see in this group, we have a range of ages that it's not too far from each other, but every, it's not like, a, okay, only people from 25 to 30. No, it's open, right? For people who are working, no matter the age, okay? The most important thing is that you have the motivation to learn. So uh, here we are. Now we go with the manufacturing. Uh, Fabio, can you choose someone? A number or someone? Whatever you want. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> maybe. Somebody that you haven't talked to, maybe? <laughs> Freddy, maybe. <laughs> Freddy, okay, yeah. Freddy Cortez? Yeah, what definition? Manufacturing. Manufacturing. Yes. Okay. The act of making something a product from raw material. Okay. From raw material. Okay. From raw material. Can you repeat it again, please? Can you repeat the definition? The act of making something a product of from a raw material. That's correct. Okay, if somebody has a, another definition, you can share it. But in my opinion, the manufacturing is that, right? Creating or making, right, uh, a, a product from scratch, right? That's manufacturing. So, um, and then the last one, positioning. Freddy, who is the last volunteer? Francisco. Francisco, okay. Okay. Positioning. What is that? Ah. 
Francisco? Uh, I think we lost his microphone. We cannot hear you, Francisco, for some reason. Mm, nope, not possible. But I think Roxana wants to help you. <laughs> okay. What do you have for uh, that one? Okay, the position, right? Positioning, yes. Positioning, okay. Uh, put is put or arrange someone or something in a particular particular place or way. Okay, that's one definition. Uh, however, if we talk about marketing and businesses and products, there can be another definition for positioning. Does anybody have a different definition for positioning? Thank you, Roxana. That is yes, one definition sir. in general about positioning, different. right? But there is one more that is specific for this context. So what is the definition, Jackie? Can I teach uh, Okay. okay. Uh -huh. Positioning, the way that customers think about or the way that a company wants customer, customers to think about a product in relation to similar products or mm -hmm. to competitors' products. Yeah, okay, so Mariela? Uh, for example, positioning. Uh -huh. We have an example. Positioning helps marketers create an image, an image? of their brand. An, an image, image of, of their, their brand. brand. Uh -huh. Okay, of got it. Uh, let me just ask Mariela because she raised her hand uh, if she has something something else. Uh, yes, I have the positioning in marketing is the process indicates how you differentiate your product uh -huh. or service from that of your competitor. Competitor. Uh, competitor. And, mm -hmm. com com Competitor, competitor, competitor. yeah, competitor. There, there you okay. go. And then determine which market niche to fill. And then you determine which market. You know what? I was thinking about that just today when I was driving. I saw a lot of businesses re of the in the same uh, area in the same field. It was about printing. Printing uh, on shirts, on, on cups, on any material. And there were like five different businesses and they were in the same field. So I was like, what is the idea behind, like when you see the pupuserias, right? In, in Antiguo Cujatlan, for example, there are many pupuserias. In Olaquilta, the same thing. So it's like, is it a good idea to have the same product, to offer the same product if you have more competition next to you? And I, I thought, right, so what is the purpose? And this is the reason, okay? If people know that in Oloquilta there are a lot of pupuserias, they know that they will find pupusas for sure. So what is going to make the difference? Okay, so if they are together, they attract more people. What makes the difference is the characteristics or the service that they offer to the customer. So maybe in Beatriz Pupuseria, they give one pupusa for free when you order 10. But in Freddy's Pupuseria, they give you coffee for free. And then in uh, Francisco Pupuseria, they give you two pupusas for one, for one, for the price of one. So um, what makes a difference is the characteristics of your product. It doesn't matter if it is the same one than your competitors. So Coca-Cola and Pepsi, right? Both products are big, they are huge companies, but the positioning is different depending on the country, depending on the, of the city, depending on the competition or the sport, right? And you see uh, Adidas and you see Nike, right? Nike is sponsoring Barcelona and then Adidas is sponsoring Real Madrid and both are big companies. So in the end, uh, or big brands. 
So in the end, positioning is that, right? The differentiation or the position that companies have to their market, okay? To the audience. So for me, Nike is the number one. That's my perception. But for, I don't know, for Roxana, probably it's Adidas. And somebody else can tell me, no, teacher, I think Puma is in the first place right now. So that is positioning, right? And the companies are fighting for this. So excellent. Um, we're going to continue, okay? This, this was really good. Thank you to the volunteers. Uh, that was really interesting to see you working. And right now we're going to match. We have been talking about vocabulary, but we don't know the specific definitions of, of these steps. So right now we're going to match them, but we're going to do it in a different way. So we're not going to the breakout rooms. We're going to do it now, right now, right here, everybody. So we're going to get different volunteers. Please analyze the definitions right now. So you can try to uh, match, right? What is the correct order? What is business analysis? What is test marketing? What is uh, idea generation, launch, product development, concept development, and testing, commercialization, idea screening? You have definitions on the right. So in your notebook, you can write down the numbers that you think go in parentheses according to the definition, okay? So I'm going to give you just one minute to think about what could be the correct order, okay? And then I'm going to start calling out names one by one so you can tell me one definition. Okay, so one minute begins in three, two, one, go. Start thinking. Try to match. Thirty seconds more. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, time is up. Don't worry if you didn't finish, okay? We're going to finish together. So right now we go with the first one. What is business analysis? I'm going to ask Diana. was going to ask me okay mm. business analysis right mm -hmm. business analysis we're uh, guessing so don't worry you, you can make a mistake uh-huh Uh, in the in this stage, research has to be conducted in order to be sure that the product will be accepted. No, yes, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so we go with number one over here. We're going to check later. Okay, let's go. If you think that another word belongs to this definition, you can tell me. Okay, teacher, I think that number six is in this stage. Research has to be conducted. That's okay. Let's go with the next one. Uh, next volunteer is Jennifer. What is test marketing? Test marketing. Jennifer? 
I'm sorry, teacher. Okay. Don't Me worry. Teacher. Um, wait a second. I just heard I'm sorry, but I didn't hear the rest, Jennifer. Sorry, teacher. I couldn't hear what did you say. Ah, test marketing. What is the definition for that? Um, In your opinion. Okay, we're just guessing right now, so don't worry if you make a mistake. I have the answer, but I'm trying If you think that is the- Ah, you, you have to ask the customer opinion. And I think- Just marketing, you have to ask the customer opinion. So that's, that you think that is right here. Okay. Uh, so Beatriz, what is idea generation? I think it's brainstorming. 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 Okay. Brainstorming uh, teacher is like you have ideas. That's correct. Yes. Suleyma, what is lunch? Okay, lunch. Just one second. Okay, just one second. Okay, I I think I think <laughs> that if once the product has been approved, it will be taken to the massively product. Mm, massively reproduced. Okay. Massively reproduced. We're going to check that later on. Okay, next volunteer <laughs> is going to be Juan Jose. What is a uh, product development? Product development. Um, maybe. Um, maybe the present to the mother product to be appreciated as I will buy the protection customer. Okay, it presents the model product to be appreciated as a whole by the potential customer. Mm -hmm. Next one is Gustavo, number six, concept development and testing. Concept development and testing. If you think that this, if the definition is already taken, you can tell me, I think it's the this and this and that. Gustavo? Just try it out. Try it out. Uh, sorry, I was I was muting. Sorry. Um, I think this uh, they take the the answer for the number six. Okay, what do you think is the definition for number six? Uh, is the number the... one for me. Sorry? Uh -huh. I, think, I think that the, the where do you wrote number one is the number six. No, oh, it's the number five. It's present the model product to represent as whole by the potential customer. Mm. Hmm. So you think that this is number six? Yes. Okay. Well, let's let's wait. And then we have commercialization. Yanari. Was I I have uh, the last uh, uh, term? Once I, the idea has been completed, the product okay. must be taken to a location where customer can get it. Okay, that's commercialization, probably. And what about idea screening? Idea screening. I'm going to ask Francisco, do you have good connection now? I believe that yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, so what is the idea screening? Uh... <clears throat> Screening. 
I, I, I think that uh, my opinion yep. uh, that you have asked for the customer opinions. Okay, so you think it's this one? Yes. Now, it's time because of time, okay, I have to tell you the, the, the right answers. Okay, so there's, I'm going to delete uh, all of them, right? So I can give you um, the right answers one by one. Okay, so the business and that, well, the, the right order, I'm going to, because you have it in your notebook, like just the numbers, right? The right order is six, two, five, four, eight, one, three, and seven. So, what is business analysis? I repeat, please. I repeat, yeah. Uh, Thank you. So, six, two, five, four, eight, one, three, and seven. So, uh, so I, given the numbers, the business analysis would be a carefully assigned plan is important to make sure about the acceptance of the product, right? That is a business analysis. Then test marketing. In this stage, research has to be conducted in order to be sure that product will be accepted. Okay, so it's not that people will be testing the product, but you do a research, right? It can be a survey, right? A, so would you like to try a new hamburger with tuna fish? No, and everybody says no. Ah, so forget about the idea of the tuna sand, of the tuna hamburger. Nobody likes it. Okay, nobody's interested. Uh, then idea generation, right? Idea generation, brainstorming. That was good. A uh, lunch that is number four is right next to it. Right, it presents a model product to be appreciated as a whole by the potential customer. So that is the luncheon. Okay, it's just a presentation, okay, to the potential customer. Then the product development is once the product has been approved, like, yes, it is okay, it's ready, it will be taken to be massively reproduced. Okay, so is it the reproduction or the production process right there? Number six, concept development. That is the first one. You have to ask the customer's opinion. So uh, here, the analysis is very deep. So you get all the reviews from the customers. So that's why it says concept development. So maybe like the hamburger is okay, but I think that you need to add more vegetables, okay? To make it more health, I mean, to make it uh, healthier, okay? So it's a deeper analysis and testing, right? So now people are using the product that is a concept development and testing and they give you their comments okay their feedback then commercialization that would be number seven uh, is the last one here once the idea has been completed the product must be taken to a location where the customers can get it okay so and the last one obviously the idea screening that would be uh this step guarantees that failing ideas be discarded immediately. So um, it's when you screening, when you see the screen, right? You imagine the computer, right? Or your cell phone. So idea screening is when you have um, the product and you eliminate all the aspects that are not good in the product. So you really uh, like, use a scanner, let's suppose, right? Use a scanner to make sure that the product is complete. It's perfect to, to go on, right? And be uh, sold in the market. Now I'm going to stop the annotations and move on to the next part. Let me um, check the tools. Where are they? Okay, here. 
Now, um, what are you going to do now? You are going to create, okay, just an idea about a product. So, but this is going to be uh, for you to think about it. We're not going to do it because of time, okay? So until we come back from vacations, that is on the on August 9th, Monday, August 9th, you are going to uh, present it, right? You're going to present it to the market or to the audience that will be your classmates and the teacher. So what is the activity? You are going to brainstorm ideas for a new product or service related to the company or the area where you work. Select the top three ideas for a new product. Discuss the characteristics of a target market or consider, think about the characteristics of a target market. Why would the people be interested in your new product? Develop a basic concept to describe your new product. So uh, this is going to be an individual presentation, similar to the picture, if you see. This looks like Gustavo somehow, right? <laughs> so it's wearing the glasses and the, and the, and the beard. So um, you need really need to think about a product, okay? That could be popular, could be a good idea. Um, so how would you present that to the to the customers? Okay, so on Monday 9th, you are going to present just the idea. Okay, the idea to your classmates. For example, I am going to, to present my idea right now. I'm inventing this right now. Uh, so my idea is um, a cell phone, a cell phone that has all the platforms uh, included, included, for example, TikTok, uh, Facebook, WhatsApp, and all these uh, tools connected to the camera directly. So in your camera, when you enter your camera, you can select if you're going to take a picture or you're going to record a video for TikTok, for Facebook, for YouTube, what is the purpose of the picture or the um, or the video? So that the camera is a smart camera that when you activate it, for example, you have the options, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube. So you can select- I was thinking the same. <laughs> just kidding. No, that's my idea. Don't steal it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So uh, copyright. Now, um, so that's my idea. I, that's the, the new proposal that I have that my cell phone includes the characteristics of the social networks in the camera so that people can start recording or taking pictures automatically for the social network where they want to upload it. Um, the, the market is going to be um, anybody who has a cell phone and who is interested in social networks. So I'm going to go from kids all the way to um, adults. Not elderly, because the majority of elderly are not really into TikTok and all this uh, creating content. So probably it's going to be from kids to people who are about 50 or 55 years old maximum, because that, that, according to my study, that is the, the, the age. Um, the concept is a camera that can give you quick access to all your social networks and you can upload the content directly to them. And you have all the characteristics of the social network in the camera. So you don't have to go look for filters. You don't have to look for videos. You don't have to look for songs. Everything's going to be in the camera. Um, the people would be interested because everybody loves social networks and it's difficult for them to be creating contents and editing videos and editing pictures. So with the camera and the, all the characteristics in one, all in one, uh, people will be happy to have everything in just one place. And uh, my top three ideas, it's uh, having TikTok, Facebook, and well, no, TikTok. Yeah, Facebook and YouTube, because I think those, and I would say Instagram, so I will have four options. 
my top three ideas, because those are the top four uh, social networks that people are using nowadays. Um, it's not related to my company or my area because I'm a teacher, but I can think about the idea, right? Like, okay, maybe I am going to create an, uh, this for teachers so they can upload their classes to social networks and they can make money using TikTok or YouTube or Facebook uh, with their classes, right? So I don't know. Um, I'm going to stop sharing here and right here. So we see each other and that's the crazy project that you have. Okay, think about a product that is innovative, that is related to your area, if it is possible. If not, you can invent a product that is in another area. And on Monday night, one by one, you are going to make a quick presentation, right? Maximum uh, two minutes, okay, to share your ideas with the class. And uh, I'm going to be taking notes, right, about your ideas. So, because later you are going to develop, okay, more steps for that product. Okay, so right now it's just idea generation, okay, with some details, but only ideas. Don't invent anything, don't uh, think that you have to go shopping and for creating the product. No, nothing about products right now is just ideas. So, um, let me take the attendance quickly to check who's here and who's not. Um, the first one is what well, I'm going to go from the last one, Suleyma. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Roxana. Present. Yanari. I'm here. Well, Verlanda is not here, so we continue with Fabio. I'm here. Okay, Gustavo. Um, Gustavo, I cannot hear you. Um, then we continue. I think he has some problems with connection or the microphone. And then we continue with Juan Jose. I'm here. I'm here, teacher. Okay, now I hear you, Gustavo. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Jackie. Present. Nice, Laura. Present. Freddy's. I hear teacher. Francisco. Here. And Diana. Present. Mariela. Present. And Beatriz. Present. Awesome. Okay, so bef I don't know what's I'm going to happen. To. Okay, Elizabeth, thank you. So I don't know what's going to happen on vacation, how much you are going to eat, how much I am going to eat. If, I, if you're going to get a haircut, if you are going to be tan, like your skin is going to be really tan because you're going to the beach. So I'm going to take a picture right now and when you come back from vacation, okay? <laughs> so <laughs> activate your camera, okay? I'm going to take the screenshot. Uh, before vacations and after vacation. So right now, maybe we look tired, like, and after vacation, it's like, yeah, everybody's happy, right? <laughs> With energy. Okay. I want to have vacation. vacation. Uh, but you will have vacations from classes. So at night, you will be free. <laughs> so uh, ready? Cameras on. One two and three say cheese there you go i got it now so uh any questions or comments guys before um we close today's class question? i have one question okay fabio uh you say yesterday that every Friday will be a uh, homework and we will have uh, just uh, at midnight to say ah, today uh, it will be. No, uh, what, I, what I said is that, okay, this today is it, not, it's not the case because normally we start the classes on Monday, the courses on Monday and we go like one complete week, two complete week, 
five complete weeks. But this time we started on Thursday, so it's not a regular beginning. So the idea is that every week, by the, I mean, you have to be uh, done with the assignments for the week. And Friday is the last day for you to complete them. So today is the second day, so it's like Tuesday, <laughs> let's say. Um, so mm -hmm. when we come back from vacation, yeah, by Wednesday is going to be the end of the first week. Wednesday is going to be the end of the first week. So you need to be completing the exercises that correspond to the first week on the platform, on the platform. It's not that I will give you homework, no. It's the assignments that you have to complete on the platform. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're welcome. That was a good question. Yeah. Today is Friday, but it's not the last the last day of the of the first week. No, it's the second day. So we have the interruption because of vacation, but we're going to come back to normal on Monday night. Yeah. Uh, somebody else. Um. Well. Jennifer, uh, you told me that yesterday was not possible for you to stay, but is it possible for you to stay today, tonight? Uh, teacher, because I don't have doubts yet. Ah, but it's not too much about the doubts. It's about the aspects of things that we can improve and that I can help you. So, because I know that there are no many doubts right now for the majority of, of you. So, if it's if it will be possible, let me know. Okay, teacher. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So, uh, guys, I really hope that you enjoy these days off. Maybe you have to work next week or tomorrow, right? But remember that during the week, we're not going to have classes, uh, the English classes. So let's say that your nights are going to be a little bit relaxed or more relaxed, right? Or you're going to have more time maybe to watch a movie or to, uh, stay I don't know, to stay at home or to sleep more. Very good to go to bed early. So it's a mini vacation at night, right? So uh, <laughs> for one week. So it's something good. Okay, so get some energies, enjoy. If you go out, try to stay away from people, right? Just with your people and take care of yourself, okay? Uh, I hope to see okay. everybody ready. Thank you. With energy, safe and sound on Monday night. So enjoy the weekend, okay. enjoy your vacation. It was a pleasure to be with you again. See you on Monday night. Thank nice. you, teacher. Thank you, guys. Happy Thank weekend. You. Nice holiday. Good night. Good night. Happy weekend. Good night. Enjoy the Happy holidays. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, so Jennifer, how are you? How are you doing? How are you feeling? I'm I really, um, I feel really tired, to be honest. Uh, a lot, uh, a lot I of work. My, my, yeah, it has been a difficult week because the last week I uh, was the backup for a co-worker. So uh -huh. I couldn't um, complete well all my activities because I have to do the activities from my co-worker and I have to finish some activities. I actually I was working. I just miss a report, but I will finish today. Okay, okay. So you still have work to do. And do you work tomorrow morning? No, I oh. have weekends of Oh, okay. At least, at least you have the weekends off. Yeah, yeah. That is something really good because I will. Uh, I'm going to wake up uh, late. Um, okay. once in this week, I almost, I almost connect uh, late 
just one minute before of my hour of end. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I, I know that your your job uh, can be very stressing because um, my, well, I have friends who work in that area and I studied high school. Actually in high school, I studied accountancy. So really? I, know, I know that it can be tedious. Yeah, it can be tedious, but it was not my field. It was not but my- Some days are, are so heavy, but other things are- Relax. Are not relaxed, but are calm down, maybe. Mm -hmm. Or calmer. calmer. Are easier. Uh, easier. Are easier. Yeah. yeah, are easier. Okay. Well, I'm trying oh. to review what um, depth that I have, but. Uh, about, the, about the vocabulary that we studied today, um, you don't have any doubts? Um, about pronunciation, yes. Pronunciation, yes. Uh, can, for example, how do, you pronounce, we, how do you pronounce these eight words, eight terms? I can, can we please review, for example, <sighs> Develop, um, development and uh, screening. Ah, uh -huh. so for I, I need you to read the, the eight terms. Ah, okay. Yep. Business analy um, analysis. 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 Uh -huh. That's marketing, idea generation, launch, product development. Concept development, development and testing, commercialization, idea screening. Sometimes I feel like I'm in elementary school when I'm reading in English. Why? I don't know because I can't pronounce some words. You cannot pronounce some words, but it's normal well, when, you, when you see when you have some new words. I mean, it's part of the process. And remember that you are studying a uh, technical English is something not so easy as as yeah. uh, as it some people could think, right? So um, not that easy. Hmm? Um, <coughs> the other one, <coughs> massively, massively. <coughs> What is the correct pronunciation? Yeah, massive, massively, massively. Ma massively. 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 Uh, yeah, massively reproduced. Yeah, massively reproduced. Oh, you have a big dog there. Yeah, but it's outside because I live in a department oh. and we can hear it, the noises from other departments. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, you don't because have a pet. Are... No, I don't have any yet, oh. but I, I'm thinking to adopt a cat. Nice. But I'm waiting for him because he's too, he's too young. Okay, no, it's okay. just one month, and oh. I have heard that they have to be two months. At least two months. At, At least, least two yeah. months. Yeah, two months, two months and a half would be good. Yeah. Yeah, I got yeah. my, I got, I got mine when I, when he, when he was two, two months old. Uh, two months and one week, I think. Ah, okay. Yeah. So I have to wait one. Not more. more, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, this terminology Teacher, is technical. Uh, so, sorry, <laughs> we will we will have to twice uh, um the ten minutes. Twice. Yeah, like. Uh, let me check if your name is twice. Hmm. Jennifer 
Yeah, you will be on September <laughs> September six. By the end, at the end of at the end of the the before before last one, I think before last day. Mm -hmm. So almost at the end, the on it's on Monday six, and we finish the course on Wednesday eight. So you will be again with me on on that day. Okay, I will. I will uh, write all the depth. And okay. thank you so much for you, your help, teacher. Nah, you're welcome. Uh, I think that you are an excellent teacher and I'm really glad that you are the teacher again. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Um, yeah, they asked me uh, about that and I was like, yes, of course, I want to be with this group again. Uh, and they ask you if you want. Yeah, I think they that they me. use an <laughs> in aleatory. They asked me if I if I agreed with that. Yeah, if I could. So yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's yeah, nice because when you have the you're a really good one, a really good one teacher, and I think that I have learned with you. I am glad to know that, and I hope that you learn more because in this module, I think that you can learn even more than the last one. So yeah, because, because the topics in the last model was difficult to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this module is a, can be a little bit more challenging because of the technical words, but I think that it can be also more beneficial for you because it's about products, about marketing, about things that are relevant nowadays. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is really good. Yeah. Okay, teacher. So, I hope you enjoy your vacation and thank you so much for thanks. your help. No, no, don't mention it. I enjoy doing it. And I hope that you also enjoy the days, well, the nights off <laughs> that you will have. <laughs> yeah, and I, I like my job. That's why uh, I don't... I don't feel bad because I, I want to take vacations. Mm -hmm. I like my job. Yeah. Okay, perfect. It just because sometimes I, I have uh, heavy days, but mm -hmm. honest or a stressful days, but it's good. That's true. That's true. That, that are, that's normal in every job. So yeah, we need to get, get used to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. until until yeah. we are millionaire uh -huh. and we stop working yeah. okay yeah, yeah we have to take care of yourself enjoy the weekend and Thanks, you too. see you around <laughs> see, see you, soon. you on monday monday night yeah. the next monday within Bye, two mondays you. yeah that's right okay two mondays bye good night Goodbye. have a good night you too Thank you.